anything for seven days and seven nights. And if you are on a seven day and seven night fast, you should be in a position to comfort me. Because now the flesh would have been dead, uh, put into subjection, so you, the Spirit of God could release something in your spirit to release into mine to comfort me. As a matter of fact, that's why you came. So the dude... Sat there seven days and <laughs> anybody here would just be be careful when you anybody here? You're just careful when you have to say a word and who you say it to and when you say it. Because I may call you in my room. And you have somebody waiting in the other room to be a witness with my stuff. So after seven days of consecration, seven days, seven nights of consecration, let's look at verse 4, chapter 4, and 1. Now let me just back up a little bit. Before they come for the dude, they brought to his attention his history. Anybody with me? <laughs> Is anybody here? that you have messed up one time and it, the church label you for the rest of your life. Wow, y'all quiet. You made a mistake once. And after that mistake, you are put into a church burial by yourself because you are the messed up dude. That's not God. What we do as a church is we try to kill those that are not as spiritually fortunate as we are. And when they mess up, we kill them and bury them. And we label them. God doesn't look at us that way. As a matter of fact, God loves when you mess up so he can clean you up. Give him something to do. So when somebody mess up, the church barrel them. I know y'all not going to like all this. Today. And you find so many damaged Barrels, Christian, who cannot go any further because the church barreled them and labeled them finish. You will never be anything because you mess up one time. And I'm not making room nor giving license to anybody to go mess up. I'm just telling you the way we are. And I told you I love when a true Christian mess up. Because when they mess up, they're coming back with a vengeance. So you mess up one time and then here comes a barrel with just you alone in it. Label messed up. I'm done. You don't have to fall asleep yet. I'm done. I'm done. Mm. 
four and one. Then Eliphaz the Timnite answered and said, If we are saved to commune with thee, <laughs> I'll mess up a brain right here. Go back to 13. So they sat down with him upon the ground. No lawn chair on the ground. Seven days and seven nights. And none spake a word unto him. For they saw that this grief was very great. Now if you were my friend. Why would you come to verse 4, chapter 4 and 1, and said, if we may examine to commune with thee, will you be upset? You know my situation. My boys didn't go away. And you're going to ask me if you... Decide to make a conversation concerning my situation. Will you be grieved? I'm already grieving. Insult to injury. I'm going down, so keep on pushing me down. The church is the only uh, army system that kills their wounded soldiers. So Heliphaz said, you know, we want to talk to you, bro. I don't know if this means, will you be upset? Or will you be grieved if we talk? So he said, how can we withhold ourselves from speaking? I'm going to finish right here. There's some folks that really don't care whether or not you're hurting. <laughs> their job, <laughs> their assignment is to had. Is there anybody with me now? Is to add more hurt to the hurt. They know you're going through, but there is no word of comfort. What it is I'm going to try to pray into, how did you get there? Let's find out how can we get you up out of there instead of spending moments of telling me, how did you get, you sin, bro. As a matter of fact, one of them get up and said, the Lord showed me. The Lord showed it to me that you sinned, Job, when he was just on a mountain of deliverance. That's what it was. Pastor told us this morning that while you're going through, you're going to grow through your growing. Doesn't matter what you're going through. Their assignment is to inflict you further in your affliction, the church people. And please don't let it be known that you need a dollar. I helped her when her
her was that the child was in need. Especially if God getting ready to shift you into another level in the church. Somebody going to get aside and say, I once had the keys. <laughs> and I helped her when she was in need. But look at her now. No, you look at God now. Not because I went down mean I'm supposed to stay down. When I go down, it's for me to get more roots and to get back up. But the church people, am I talking to church people? The church people, what they do is that they try to keep your head down even though they hear the knocking in the barrel. If somebody should come alongside you to open that barrel, what they need, they walk around and say, oh, messed up. Unconventional preaching. Give me a hand. You all right? Did you eat last night? Give me a hand. Give me a hand, oh man. Come give me a hand. <sighs> what we do is because if you stay down there long enough, I'm going to get your position. Stay. <laughs> Huh? Listen. Let's go to let's go down. Three. Behold, thou hast instructed many. <laughs> you remember when? You were on top of the world, Joby. Am I talking to somebody? I, I quit in a, I don't have preaching fever. I can quit now. If you're not getting down later, then quit, boy, and go home. Remember when. Listen, behold, there was instructed many. You've been an instructor, Job. And though I strengthen the weak hands. <laughs> In other words, Job, you were a blessing to this nation. But I didn't say, but they, look at you now, Job. For thy words of upholding him that was falling, and thou hast strengthened the feeble knees. Job used to go around and pay people light bill. Pay their rent. Give them food. I'm done. Y'all like me a true word, but I wanna. <laughs> so, so, Job used to, when you go through the text, you'll see, Job used to bring people to the doctor and pay their doctor bill, and, and, and uh, he was a community activist. He takes care of the community. Hus he controlled us. Look what his friends are doing. They're saying, Job, you remember? You remember when you had it good? <laughs> you remember when? <laughs> you remember when everybody used to come on knock at you? Door? Brother Job, give me a dollar, me two dollars. You remember that? And in a nutshell, they say, but look at you now. He opened the doors for so many. And his ten of the brethren would come and say, Joby, we're going to go through this together. 
We're going we to make this happen, Joe. We, uh, we, we're here with you. They stood there seven days and seven nights, and they didn't say a word, hoping that the first word that would have come out of their mouth would be, Job, we got your back, brother. Don't worry yourself. And when they get to chapter 4, we remember all that you have done for this community, and God has not forgotten you, Job. But Job said, look, yet though they even though he slay me, ah, shut up, yet will I trust him. And I believe Job, wife, Job, wife, everybody preach about Job, wife, and saying that, please do the whole that thing now. Everybody speak about Job, wife. So, Job. His wife said, Job, curse God and die. And even though Job was in that hilarious position, he was conscious in his spirit that my God in whom I trust will get me out of this. Uh -huh. But let's just help Sister Job. Nobody know what Sister Job was going through. Everybody said jo Sister Job was a crazy woman. She tell Job to cry. You don't know what it is for a wife. <laughs> to see the husband who was the head of everything is now in the ditch. Mrs. Job didn't have to fry chicken. She called a serpent and chicken was fried. But now she had to go put two pieces of wood together and catch her own fire and fry her own chicken because what she had was taken away from her. Don't curse Mrs. Job. Mrs. Job was in a critical position that she had to say what she was saying. But the whole scenario is upon Brother Job. Brother Job, Brother Job, what are you going to do during this? All your close brethren turn against you. Folks that you thought would have had your back when you're going through the turn against you and you feel like even though you're in this place, you're in it by yourself. And I'm pretty sure that Job gave the keys to his inside to these three friends. Nobody has showed up but these three friends. They know Job inside out. And before they come to say, Job, we going to do this thing together. I see where you are. Do you want me to scratch your back? But no, Job, look, Job, Job, you was, you were, look, you were this, but look at you now. And the church of the living God is in the same position today. Instead of helping one another, push him down. You want me to prove it to you? Today there's going to be food upstairs. And the food might run out. And while the food ran out and somebody was least of the apostle, now watch this. You have pastors, fish and chicken and curry goat put away somewhere. But somebody show up who is not in your corner nor your league. Your stuff is in the refrigerator behind the stove. In the cabinet where the rats are. We'll hide up. 
And somebody who is least of the, somebody who haven't spoken in tongues for, from since they got saved, somebody who is not among the high league came up. And before you give them all that you shared and put aside for your pitney, your grandpitney, and your grandma, and for lunch and for everything tomorrow, before you give them just a little bit of yours, and tell you what happened, you left it. You leave it up there and forget it. And when I come tomorrow morning upstairs, I see chicken, rice, roach, rat, and everything upstairs in the food that you are trying because you really didn't need it. There was no compassion in our hearts towards our brethren. Oh, is you? Who is you? Or who is not you? When will you be the who that you look out to? Go home with six different needs. Six different kind of pasta. Whole wheat, fresh direct, Holy Ghost pasta, all kind of pasta. And can I tell you the answer? You didn't need it. Hmm. Putting you to sleep today, right? Anesthesia. Learn to love one another, man. Go out of your way. Give up the last that you have when, when somebody passing by and want to spend a night by you. Give up your pastor pedic mattress and go on the couch or on the floor and let somebody sleep in your bed instead of trying to be so controlling and this is mine. You're going to deadlift everything that you're trying to hoard up for yourself and can I talk to somebody here? Amen. Job said, look, I don't care what you guys are saying about me. All I know in whom I trust. And it looks like God is saying me right now, but I'm going to go through with God because God never finished with me yet. I'm, I'm just in a process of getting to the next level with him. And when we're going through something, we got to learn how to go through knowing that God is with with us with it you don't need nobody to hook up with you especially non-spiritual folks uh, that's going to tell you something that is not holy ghost directed you need us to put yourself in a little old corner and say it is me oh god standing in the need of prayer it's not my brother not my mother not my father it's me and i need thee now So Job knew in whom he trust because he trust in God. Some of us are hurting so much right now. Because you lend somebody your key. To the inside of your apartment. And 
And before they got into your apartment, they went to the hardware store and bust a couple more copies. So you change the locks. And you're at a stage today wherein I don't care who it is. Nobody else gonna get this key. Because I don't trust nobody. And the reason why the church is suffering because there are so many different unions within the church. Little cliques. If I don't see your praise, I'm not going to praise. But we got to praise God for ourselves. We got to catch up praise. If you don't catch the spirit, I ain't going to catch. That's not the way it goes. You got to know God for yourself and leave people alone. If you're depending on people to make you happy, you're in the wrong world. You got to jam yourself into a corner and say, you better be happy, boy. Happiness come from you. And if you're not happy, nobody else can be happy. You can't depend on nobody to make you happy. Marriage is not going to make you happy. I tell you, while you're single now, you better learn you. And learn to happy you. And bring happiness into the marriage. Don't get married to make nobody make you happy. What a friend we have in our Jesus. Because Tom Jones is getting in for you to make him happy. And you getting in to make. So there are two hand happy folks trying to look for happiness from each other. And there is no happiness in nobody. So while you're single now, learn you. Uh, learn you to be happy. Make you happy. Amen. If jumping off the George Washington Bridge makes you happy, go make yourself happy. So when you find the dude, both of you go on George Washington Bridge and jump off, both you will be happy because you know what happiness is. Inside, there is some little us that is locked up inside and never get grown until you die. Because <laughs> you ain't going to give nobody the key to get inside. So by the time you're getting ready to give up the key to somebody, what they find out is that there's some little dwarf of you inside of you because they were locked up and unfed. Your past. Has created. A big old key. For your present. And there are people within your circle. Who is unhappy around you. Because you have never been happy. Uh, 
And there are people here today that change relationships very frequently. Trying to find folks who will make them happy. I think I'm talking to somebody. I just did that to wake you up. Unconventional preaching. After all that Job three friends put him through, it was enough in his spirit to say, might as well die. Anybody with me? No, these are my besties. Am I they call it right, right? Besties. I'm finished. And Job, when Job got his cell phone and do a selfie. Um, I was the dawn. But Job do a selfie. Job said, mm mm. Eliphaz said, You sin, man. What the other one? Give me another name, Pastor Wallace. Bill Hall said, The Lord told me. <laughs> so far? So far, sir. I don't see no future in your job. Might as well give it up. I wish I'm talking to somebody here. And your inner circle that you depended upon. And I can imagine how many times so far send them borrow money from him. <laughs> Oh, God, I'll give me something else. So, so far, plan was die, bro. I want to pay you back. <laughs> when folks hold you and you're going through, I'm talking about church folks, too. Church folks. So when, when Job did a selfie, Job said, mm-mm, this is not me. But yet, yet do he slay me. Job said, I will, go, I will grow through this. This didn't come to kill me. I'll grow through this. And I, 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 I'm not going to, boys, I'm not going to let you inside. I, I'm pretty much sure these guys have keys to Job inside. Now, let me close with this. Watch this. I have two questions in the Bible. I'm going to give you them. I'm going to sit down. Number one is when Job came back to what did they say to him? After Job no, you, you can't find nothing. There's no report of uh, there's no report. There's no report of that. I'm just I'm just taking your brain somewhere else. How did they accommodate his friendship? After his daughters came back more beautiful than the rest. Did they stop by Job again to be a friend with Job? Because people only want to be your friend when... Did nobody want to help me preach this? When everything is going well, you... Have all the world of friends, but let the rubber meet the road for 24 hours. Everybody leave you alone. 
Now what did they say when Job revived and his cattle came back and his children came back? What did they say? Did they go back to see him? I'm pretty much sure they stayed to their community. They didn't go back to see Jehovah. Tell somebody and tell them I'm going through now. <laughs> and if you don't love me now, <laughs> if, if, if you don't, if you don't, it's jovial, right? It's jovial. But if you don't love me while I am down and out. <laughs> If you don't love me when I got the eviction notice and I squeeze you and, and tell you. If you don't love me when I lost my car and because I couldn't pay $75 worth of ticket and they took it from me. And I came to you to borrow $50 because I had $25 and you turned me away. If you don't love me now when I come up out of my dungeon please don't call me because I'm getting ready to get to a next level in God with I I not know came to you for $50 because you had or I thought you had one of my keys. Am, am I talking to anybody? You, you, are you, you're thinking, I thought you were thinking, you're thinking, you're thinking. God, don't do it, please. Let me quit here. Let me quit. Let me quit, please. Let me quit. We have Mother Garden to go to, please. Please don't give me nothing else, please, Lord. <laughs> Pastor, help me. It was seven times whatever he got before. Please help me. Say. Everything is seven. How many children? Three children up in. Three children. Three daughters. <laughs> Can you <laughs> listen? Just imagine with me that that, that Sister Job's first daughters was as ugly as Amy. Just imagine with me. <laughs> Just imagine with me. <laughs> Please, please. I, I got to make you laugh there. I'm, I'm coming around serious. I'm coming around serious. I, I know, I know, you know, I, I, can do that with, I, I can do that with him. Yeah, I can. Just please imagine with me that mm, I'm getting theologically connected now. Just please imagine that her, his first daughters was as ugly as Amy. But <laughs> Jesus have mercy somebody help me you, you, you with me girl you with me but the three came you want to stand up come 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 we gotta go home we gotta go home come, come. no you're not so uh, you, come, come 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 real fast come real fast so uh, <laughs> Black and brown, Guyana, Jamaica, and Jamaica. So, listen, I gotta leave you with this. I gotta leave you with this. I gotta leave you. With this. So watch Job. Ball skin smooth like baby bottom now. Because when God do a work, it's gonna be good as good. So Job going to the city to pay land tax. Come on, girls. Listen. Please dramatize this. Be crazy and say, Are those Joe's daughters? Them pretty boys. Come on, work with me. Work with me. Work. Daughters, they're pretty. But the same people, thank you very much. The same 
people in the neighborhood who sat down and Job's burial and put a lock on Job's burial. When they look at Job's resurrection, they were so crazy. In the, is that Job? Help us somebody and tell you you're coming out. No, you all don't say it like you mean it. Y'all don't say it like you mean it. Tell somebody I am. And I'm going to look better. Ten times better than I looked before. I'm going to have the more than enough than I had before. Because when God is for you, who can be against you? I am going through right now, but God ain't finished with me yet. I'm coming out. Now, you with me? Day after day, bad news. You with me? Last day, Job. Your sons. And Job was a dude who protects his son, sacrifice for them, make sure they are right. You with me, Bertie? I have a feeling the next week. <laughs> I'm gonna walk on this chair from the, the back of this chair to the, the, the to the back without even falling off. I think so. Uh, that's what be next next week. Next week. So the way I feel now, I feel like if I was on the boat with Jesus, I'll just walk on water with him without even. That's how I feel right now. So. He had seven sons. I want you to look at it with Pastor. If you can help me, look at it when you get home. Seven thousand sheep. Three thousand camels. Three daughters. with me the renewal hmm Three daughters before. And in the back with three. You should know. Demima. Kezia. And Karen. And Kezia means cinnamon. 
Third daughter, Corinne, means horn of autonomy, strength. While you're going through, it's not over. You're just going through. Don't stop in the tunnel. Keep on going through. Because while you're going through, you're in your growth process. Your blessing process. But let me leave this with you. Where were his friends after God blessed him? You know, women are crazy. <laughs> and if they showed up one day, Mrs. Job said, if you come further, I'm going to throw water upon you. Don't come no further. When my husband need you, y'all come here, come condemn him. But now that he's back into his glory, did they come back for another key to get back on the inside? And what shall we do when we are going through and those that we thought would have been there for return against us? Should we lock the door and throw away the key? Or should we open again? And say, I'm going to trust God with you trusting you with the key again. Don't kill nobody. Don't write nobody off. Because the persons you write off, you might just need them around the corner. And you never know when. You might need to pick up the phone and call that person because when you were going through, they weren't there with you. You might just need to pick up the phone and say, hello, I just need somebody to talk to. Don't you ever bury nobody. But this time, you'll give the key with caution. God bless you, Father, we thank you for the which you impart in my spirit. And the few folks who received this word and got something from it, we pray that God, you will help them to use it while they're going through. We thank you now. In Jesus' name. While I was praying, please don't throw away the key. But one day, you're going to need to open that door to let somebody in. And you might not be able to find the key. And don't put it away in too much of a safe place. But be wise now in who you give your key to. The first time you weren't so wise, you were happy-go-lucky. But now you give the key with caution, with instruction. Please don't copy my key. And don't give it to nobody. See, every now and then I have to change the code on the front door. <laughs> uh, 
Because when we were supposed to hear to hoping to let somebody in, we just call them and give them the code. So folks who didn't need to have the code, have the code. So I had to change the code every now and then. But don't lock nobody out, man. Every time you're hurt, it's just for a procedure to learn to get into somebody, something else with wisdom. Somebody say amen. God bless you. Heaven smile upon you. I hope everybody's safe today. If you're not safe, raise your hand. We pray with you. You're not safe. I want Jesus. Not safe. Praise God. I'm assuming everybody's safe. I know I asked and you didn't respond, so I'm assuming everybody is saved. I hope this message will help you tomorrow and next week and the week after to be compassionate. And whichever way you receive it, let it help you. God bless you much, Pastor. Praise God. Come on and give God praise in the house. Hallelujah. Is it well with your soul? Is it well? Is it well? Praise God. We thank God. Amen. That it is well. Amen. We thank God for those of you who took the time to come out. Amen. Praise God. Showing the inside from to the outside. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And um, Eliphaz, I think it is, who is the oldest of all. Amen. The oldest brethren. Amen. According to scripture, as Bishop says, when you trace him, he was, was supposed to be one of the wisest person in the land. Amen. While Job was one of the richest, he was one of the wisest. Amen. But we can't lean on our own understanding or so quick to judge, amen, from the outside. And so God is working on us so that we will grow while we're going through, amen. So we thank God for the, the word of God. And based on the word today, that tells us that many of you will be going with us to see Mother Gordon. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Because there was a time that we all told her we loved her. Am I right? There was a time when we said, eh, um, Mom, this, Mom, that. Mom, can you make a seafood salad for us? Am I right? Amen. That's the mom that went out to make the seafood salad, and sometimes she made the curry goat. Amen? Amen. Amen. For those of you who weren't here, put your hands to, for a bishop. Amen. <laughs> for those of you who weren't here on Wednesday night, <laughs> 